Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jake here doing a beer review on Saturday night on the cast again. How are y'all doing? Cheers. Nice to see ya. Let's pour this up. No time to waste. So here it is. Here's the review. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. It's the uh, the Molson Wheat. Let's see if I can get my uh, magnifying glass out here for the blind and read this. A refreshingly smooth tasting unfiltered wheat beer made with specialty selected soft white spring wheat grown in Canada. Canadian wheat, eh? 4.5% alcohol by va Valium. There's Valium in this. So anyways, there's what she looks like. Unfiltered cloudy, yellow, white head, pretty retentionable, is that a word, retentionable? Take a sniff, mmm, coriander, lemony, orangey, that type of smell, not a strong one, so let's go, let's, let's get a first impression of this taste of this, of this one here. Ooh, ooh, the carbonation is ooh, on the heavy side. Whoa, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, I'm kind of getting uh, like a lemony, mostly lemon at this point. Lemon? Because it's, it's reminding me of that beer I reviewed a couple weekends ago. I think it was last weekend or the weekend before that, uh, the Rickards, the Rickards. All right, so let's uh, drink a little bit more. I'll swirl this and get the, get the bottom part of it in it. We'd swirl it like this, right? Give it a swirl to get the, get the bottom of the shandy, right? Oh, the can farted. Oh yeah, we got chunks. We got chunks. There we go. Nice pour. Doesn't that look nice? Nice. There's the end of the can. She's empty. Oh, we got lots of floaties and lots of floaties in this one. I don't. Really, I don't think you can see it, but oh well. Lots of floaties. Let's give it another go. I don't think you can see that in that camera either. Probably not. But anyways, it's not bad considering. <laughs> uh, considering it's a Molson Canadian product, it's actually a pretty decent wheat beer, considerably. Wow. Quite quite surprised at how nice this is uh, considering where it's coming from that it's got it's got that uh, lots of that lots of fruity flavors and lots of uh, wheat I don't know if you can really taste the wheat per se but it's got all the it's got all the aspects of uh, certainly aiming very close to a craft wheat beer nice it is nice. That's nice, and it's nice and clean. I wouldn't say that's a bad beer at all. It'd be great. It's a great summertime type of beer. I, I, you can, as long as you don't mind drinking the little floaties kicking around in there, you can't see. Besides the carbonation being a little on the high side, as far as refreshing is, refreshing goes, and sessionability goes. I mean, that's that's a nice beer. I would, I would absolutely get that. I think I would. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking four. But then I'm saying that might not, yeah, it's not really quite a four, but uh, it's a little better than a three and a half. So I guess we'll have to go put a 3.75 out of five, in my personal opinion, because it's something I would definitely recommend for those who do like wheat beer, wheat flavored beers. I would recommend trying it for sure, but on, this, on, that, on that note, I would not say it's brilliant. Cheers, guys. Keep your mugs full, and thanks for coming along.